بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل رب زدني علما صدق الله العلي العظيم Respected ulama, imams, shuyukh, honorable congregation, brothers, sisters, beloved youth, our beloved children of Fajrul Islam, students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praise is due to Almighty Allah, the sustainer, nourisher, and cherisher of this universe. Peace, blessings, and salutations be upon our beloved master and leader, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As I stand here today, so many thoughts go flashing through our mind, but the topic we will discuss today is history. When we juxtapose and compare our Islamic history, with other history, we find that other religions, other philosophies, other ideologies, their history is written in black and white, and our history as Muslims is written in black and red. The black ink of the ulama and scholars, and the red blood of our shuhada and martyrs. And that is what makes, my dear brothers and sisters, our history so unique. Hence the topic for today's discussion is the African connection, the African contribution towards Islam. But is that sufficient? No. What the law saw will help. We exhort and we invite and we call one another towards the truth. So brothers and sisters, our mission, our message is to invite people towards Islam. Hidayat is in the hands of Almighty Allah. But the struggle has to continue. Mustafa alayhi salatu salam sahaba. You sisters, three incidents I give you. And for the brothers as well. But first we will take the sisters. You have your maid. Did you tell your maid, my sister, that Mustafa alayhi salatu salam's foster mother was an African lady, a black lady, if you want to use the term. What was her name? Barata. What was her kunya and agnuman? Umm Ayman. Umm Ayman radiallahu ta'ala anha, one of the murdi'at, one of the honorable ladies who breastfed Mustafa alayhi salatu salam. May Almighty Allah make it such that we can assist financially, spiritually with our du'as, with our time, and go there to Sheikh Salama and his wonderful team. Sheikh Salama, uh, I don't know your wife's name, but anyway, they are behind every successful man, they say there's a woman, but I just add one word, behind every successful man, there's an exhausted woman. So you must remember to our sister Sheikh, Sheikh uh, Salama's wife, we say Barakallahu Feek to you also sister. Sheikh Salama could never do all this if you were not behind him. So we say honey and lakum and may Almighty 